हाई एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस डे गाइज टूडे दिस इज द फाइनल स्टेप टू एक्चुअली कन्फिगर योर वेब इवेंट इन द सेकेंड वीडियो एज आई मैंशन यू गाइज हाउ यू कैन सेट अप द वेब इवेंट आई होप यू ऑलरेडी बीन डन सो यू ऑलरेडी बीन सेट अप द वेब इवेंट दैट एक्चुअली यू वुड लाइक टू ट्रैक नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी नीड टू बी मैंशन टू द फेसबुक दैट विच event you would like to be prioritized so which actually result you want looking for and you need to be prioritized that event based on that all events web events right so based on your result that you are actually looking for so basically guys this is the new things that facebook announced in this year it facebook has been announced since the ios 14 has been launched as i mentioned in the last video why that uh, what is that ios 14 is and um which which is the uh downside and which is the upside for this ios 14 so in this video i'm going to be show you how you can actually configure the web event based on your uh prioritize that you're looking for if you're on the screen guys do not need to be worried about if you cancel everything before if you you you, you get verification of your domain right it is so important after that if you come to here what do you need to do guys you need to be configured the web event and you are going to see this aggregate event measurement this is the new protocol through the facebook you will be see it here verify all events from the website domain that you have to be verification of the domain and that are currently processed using the aggregate events protocol every event you created on your website that will be now processed through this protocol why because of this ios 14 right that's why we need to be use this protocol when these events are received through both facebook pixels and the conversion api do not need to be worried about this conversion api this is for the server side but we already install this facebook pixels we measure using the data for the connections and higher priority highest priority events to calculate the total event as i mentioned you you need to be tell to the facebook which one is your highest priority right for example i'm going to show you in that way so now we are going to configure that web event you will be need to be click on this web event and you will be see this make sure that your domain should be verified guys today we are going to be configure the web event and for one domain facebook only allow you eight web event you can configure right so eight web events you can configure and you can prioritize based accordingly i'm going to show you now you need to be click on it and you need to be go to the manage event and this is the main options guys if you changes anything it takes 72 hours to get it updated by a facebook so make sure that do, uh, before editing you need to be very careful with this thing so now you will be able to see it here event slots filled zero from it you have maximum eight you can install it and you can read this one all the things that will be really helpful for you too so i'm going to add the events guys now Facebook ask you which one is your highest priority guys if you have an e-commerce business or if you're selling anything online of course your highest priorities would be the purchase events right you remember um we set up this events and we have some category in it what you looking for leads contacts purchase initiative checkout a lots of events was there but we have selected leads and contact since we do not the wahoms.co.nz do not offer anything online so there is nothing for the purchase so if you have anything that you are selling online then purchase would be your highest priority and because you are looking for purchase you are looking for a checkout option from your website right so that what you're looking for so now here once you come to the highest priority they will be asked you from the pixels that we have installed this wow homes nz pixels make sure that this pixel needs to be selected here that pixels you installed into your website further the events you created you will be able to see guys here receive within the 28 days that you remember we create this two um events one lead and contact of course my highest priority is lead because i'm looking for always customers email 
I'm looking for always customers data that is my lead and that is my priority that what I'm saying to the Facebook this is my priority and I'm going to submit that one simple that way it's done and I'm going to confirm it this is my highest priority if as I mentioned here if you're selling anything online your highest priority should be purchase and if the second priority should be initial checkout because uh, the people come to your website, right? They view the content and then they will be going to your checkout option if they like your product and then they will be going to purchase it. So highest would be purchase, checkout initiate or if before that they need to be get, they need to be provide you all information, you can select the third phase lead. Sometimes people do not want to be try the checkout initiate. so lead then purchase so the highest prioritize prioritize would be purchase then the second prioritize would be lead it's all up to you what you're looking for but it is the stair it is the process step by step that you need to be mentioned to here onto the facebook so i'm going to put this one here you will be see it here now wow homes domain have a one web configure facebook will do it for you now second thing i'm going to add one more um events here if you created any another events on the website you will be able to see one more thing guys sometime that events would not be triggered then you will not be able to see it for example let's check out initiate right and you will be able to see no one come on to that page and this event has not been fired from last day or even you created and it's not been fired yet you will not able to see that events here in the option here you will not able to see that events right you will be see it here receive within a 28 days from the domain that events already been fired you will be able to see it if if they didn't fire it you will not be able to see any kind of e um, uh, event so the second prioritize i put it here at to lead it's already been done sorry compact so this is my lead or if i have any purchase you can go through with purchase and all this stuff so you will be able to see the all events that's not fired no active it's over 20 it's been 28 days this events has not been active since we did not create it so this is the way you can configure and you can configure up to eight events this is the important thing guys once you're done submit it and it's good to go that's the whole thing guys this is the final lap in the next day tomorrow i'm going to show you how you can create the custom audience the audience it's on your website that events has been fired how we can collect the data from the facebook and how we can target those audience with the special ad or specific ad i hope you remember the part is tomorrow what we are going to do is we are going to create a custom audience that audience already on our website right and the audience who have fired with that events for example they come onto the lead form they come they they are on the checkout initiate but they did not purchase it yet so we can collect that all audience from the facebook and we will be target those audience with the special ads in the next day tomorrow i will be going to show you this all things will be really fun for you i hope you enjoying your facebook challenge this first ffc challenge and that will be very informative for you thank you so much guys see you tomorrow and we'll have a look how we can uh, how we can target our custom audience thank you so much see you tomorrow